Okay, so our next opponent in this tournament is against Flip and Drill. Great. Just what I want to see. Engage, you can tell by my sarcasticness. We're near even. Oh, we're, we are near him, actually. Never mind. Look at that. Rafa immediately giving Zakilot a yellow card for attacking Flip and Drill when he was supposed to attack Flip and Drill. And then I flipped Flip and Drill, and then because he fell into the pit, he's gone back on his feet again. Really? He hasn't even hit me with a drill yet. Okay, now, now he has. And now Shunt is deciding to attack me and he doesn't get given a yellow card for it. Wait. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually flipped Flip and Drill over the yellow barrier that guards the pit. Wow. I didn't even think that was even possible. I didn't even know you could flip a robot over that fence. Because I thought there was always an invisible wall there until the barrier gets destroyed. But that's fine nonetheless. And we got Pussycat next as opponent number four. Disco Kitty goes straight into the oven. <laughs> oh, they didn't even touch him. Oh, that was our final opponent. Wow, what a way to win that fight. Just watching the cat dancing his way into the oven. Oh, that's stupid. But at the same time, really, really funny. Okay, damage Derby now. Is restricted to shunting scoops and gripping weapons. Oh, great. And I could use Bam off for this fight, but he's also got those axes. So we can't technically use him. Which means we're going to have to go to... A robot that has either a crushing claw or a scoop. And the only one I can think of that's got a scoop... With nothing else... Um, actually, they've they've all got something else. All right, then we just need to buy one of these robots and see which one's actually the hardest one to flip. Uh, let's see. I think we'll go for tractor. Go to edit robot. Go to track. We could technically use Razor because he does have the crush ability factor, but I do not like using Razor at all. Mainly because of the fact that, well, he's a hard robot to control. He drives iconically fast. And when you try to grab hold of somebody, you can't do exactly what Blunderbird 5 does, where it's like they grab you and then they drag you around towards the pit. No, I try that and I just go spinning around all over the place and eventually I lose grip and I get sent flying into where I'm trying to send the robot to obliteration. Right, Yago and Switchblade. I think Switchblade's going to be having a crushing claw. I could be wrong about that. And immediately Dead Metal attacks me and the ref bot doesn't even bother to give him a yellow card. No surprise because apparently the house officers are allowed to attack me but not 
the actual AI robots. And I was right about Swishblade. He has squeezing pincers, but so does the Argo. See, look at that. Immediately, Circular have been given a yellow card for attacking the AI robot. But Dead Metal wasn't given a yellow card for attacking me. Right, I believe Tractor does not have a good push ability factor here, so we're going to have to hope for the best here. Oh, 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 we actually flipped Switchblade, but because Yaga grabbed a hold of him, it dragged him back up and over. And now Switchblade has got a hold of me. Okay, if I sit still, Switchblade would be recognized as being flipped. Okay, there we go. Hopefully he can be flipped before the Argo gets pushed into the Crusher. Uh. No. And I was going to say, the ref bot just went wham! Right into Switchblade, counted down to zero, and flipped him back on his feet again, making him mobile again. Which is no surprise, because that's exactly what I said what happened in the last episode. Of a true story. Right, immediately I am going to do this. And I know Dead Metal was immediately going to attack me, but Switchblade has actually gotten a hold of Dead Metal and I managed to push him in the pit and go through to the next round. Even though I fell in with him. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. Right, fire drill. I haven't actually fought fire drill before in this tournament, so I don't know what to, to expect. Okay, he's got a scoop. I honestly would have thought they would have put the scoop on the back of the robot. So, the so Killer Lot decided to attack. The ref bot, then. He still is. There you go. He's attacking fire drill. Oh no, he's changed his mind. He's going for me instead. No surprise, and the ref bot's not doing a thing about it. Look at. Oh, now he finally gives. He gives a yellow card to the house robot. Because. Of the fact that he's actually attacking Fire Drill. Look at we're actually fighting against the conveyor belt here. And oh no 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 oh, no we're in the crusher, we're in the crusher. But really. Okay, there we go. Fire drill's gone. We're through. Don't know why we had to fully fix our weapon there, because we didn't even lose our weapon at all, I don't think. Ah, celebration. Okay. 
Well, we'll see how the outcome goes. I mean, we can't always expect, like, a high positive thing to happen. Ah, oh, pincers and a scoop. And now the killer is going to attack me once again. Uh, really? Oh my god! Why do the house robbers keep attacking me all the time? Didn't it clearly tell that Celebration was the one who actually attacked him that time? That time? Not me? Yeah, I got the burps on me now after having my drink. There, go away, Sakilot. You always attack me when you're illegally not supposed to. And now Dead Metal's attacking me again and shoves me into the crusher. Right, thankfully, Celebration actually pushed me out. And Dead Metal kept him in. Uh. Wait. Wait. Uh, we've discovered a glitch here. We have discovered a glitch. Celebration has fallen into the pit. Okay, that shouldn't have happened. Celebration fell into the pit and we won the fight, but the match kept going because it knew I was stuck. I couldn't move. It sent me into the crusher. I couldn't get out. And then I lost the fight based on a glitch. Unbelievable. I can't believe the fact that I actually lost a match because of a glitch. And believe me when I say this, this happens way too many times. I always lose fights because of glitches. Honestly. I believe this would also happen to you guys if you're playing like the old fashioned games back in the early 2000s. I mean, we are still technically in the early 2000s because it is 2020. We got about 80 years still to go before we get into the year 2021, in all honesty. So there we go, we're attacking Mars Attacks here. Shoving him in the arena side wall. We can't turn him over because apparently physics. And now Matilda designed to attack me for no reason. And choosing to attack me again. When she... That's actually illegal. He should not be doing that. But the ref was just allowing them to do it. Right, we need to push Juggernaut around because we can't keep any Crusher robots in the game. Come on. And yeah, they got a hold of us. There you go, he's in. We're pushing Mars Attacks away, so that way he doesn't intervene. And there we go. Me and Mars Attacks goes through to the next round.
Yeah, it's not really much left I can honestly say involving me doing this because it's just same old, same old, really. Compete in a tournament with a robot, go through to the very end, win the tournament, and just advance to the next one, honestly. And now the so killer is immediately going to intervene by attacking me. Oh, there you go. He actually attacks Mars attacks for once. And you see, Dead Metal was given a yellow card from a move that he was legally allowed to do. And now he's being given a red card. And now Dead Metal is deciding to attack me. Why on earth would he do that? But there you go, Mars attacks. He's joining the kid lot in the crusher. I hope he didn't... Okay, there you go. Mazdax is stuck in there. And I thought he was going to get glitched out of there then. Okay, we're through to the next round once again. Hopefully this time, we did not have another glitch happen where the robot actually went into the pit, but he still recognized him as being in the game. Okay, Robotica once again. See how we go in this one. Right then, so he's using a scoop here. And we'll immediately keep going over the top of him. Which doesn't make any sense because we're using a low scoop. And low scoops should always... Um, have an effect where you're going underneath a robot, not above them. Well, using the back of the robot apparently seems to work. Okay, thank you, Matilda, for shoving Robotica down there. Now, can you join him th down there with you? No? Okay, screw you then. Right, come on. Right, come on, Robotica. Come on, seriously now. He's choosing not to... Oh, there we go, finally. Wait, what? Do you get catapulted back over here or something? Right, there you go. We got him now. We've got him. Inside the crusher. Nope, you're staying in there, Robotica. You're staying in there. Goodbye. Round three done. Ugh. Don't know why he keeps telling me to actually fully repair my weapon, acting like it fell off, because it never did. It never ever did. Ugh. Okay, switchblade now. Righty then, uh, Switchblade, I also remember using the pincers. There you go, Dead Metal, oh no, it didn't break the grip of Switchblade then. But Dead Metal was trying to push me in the crusher. And again. 
keeps choosing to attack me when he's not supposed to. And no, no, I am not being sent in the crusher. I am not being sent in the crusher. But Switchblade's making sure that I... Oh, there he saved me, actually. But Switchblade is going to try and make sure that I do get shoved in there. And I've lost control of one of my tracks. Because of dead metal. Uh, Switchblade, any one time you want to let go of me? Come on now, this is starting to get a little bit annoying now. Especially when the house robots will not go away. And now they've allowed Switchblade to attack me again. Seriously, come on. Break it apart. Let go of me. Thank you. And now he gets a hold of me again because I drove into a blinking wall. Let go! Seriously, I can't do anything if you keep grabbing me like that. Matilda, go away! That's his wish, babe. Attack the house robot. There we go. Okay, Switchblade's lost control of one of his drives. And because of the fact that he's going to keep driving with that left wheel. No, you're not grabbing hold of me again. Oh, God's sake. Ugh. Why are you such a hard robot to push, Switchblade? Seriously, let go of me! Let go! Thank you! No, we're not going to have enough time to uh, push him in the pit. No, we've lost this. There's no way we can win this. Oh. Okay. Oh. Apparently we had more style and control than Switchblade, apparently. Alright, that works well. Right, I'm going to be doing the rest of this tournament off-screen, because I think it's fair to say you know exactly what's going to happen. Um, I don't want to like start a new episode where I'm going to be carrying on the tournament, and then we end up losing it again. So next time, World Wars Extreme Destruction, we will be doing the tournament to be held on the Marine ship. See you guys then.